Previously on Fucked in Space. Space is dangerous, Dr. Scuba. Yet you insist on defying me with that abomination. What do you say to another colada? Yes, sure. I have this special recipe. You destroyed Earth? Oh, you're still upset about that? I won't rest until everyone knows what you did. Oh, please. There's no such thing as a space yeti. Does anyone know what these numbers mean? This is Space Patrol 19 or 9 to Dr. Scuba. You are under arrest. Let's bust some heads. No! Yeah! Yeah! They got away! Jenga! No! Dr. Scuba's callous act of space littering is gonna lead us right to him. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, this is an announcement of monumental proportions. Let's party! Hey there, my homies and gomies. This is Dr. DJ Scoobalicious coming at you with some great music to get your dance on, too. So let's party, shall we? This one goes out to Captain Homily, who not only beat the high score in Wooded Bandicoot Roundup, but he showed Wally Audio who's boss. And that's me. You're the man now, dog. Go, Captain! It's your birthday! We're gonna party! Yeah! We have you now, Scuba. Your days of flaunting the law are limited. <laughs> yeah, like a burnt casserole. <laughs> yeah, but well, what does that mean? What? It's a burnt casserole. It's burnt. You gotta get rid of it. Granted. But I feel like there's gotta be a better comparison than a burnt cast. You're in Space Patrol, okay? Just don't embarrass me when we get on the ship. Yeah, all right! <laughs> Woo, baby, heat up that lava lamp, daddy -o. Yeah, man! Hey, Wally. Ooh. You like breakdancing, huh? Let's get into it. So! What's up? Hey! Incoming transmission. What? I can't hear you, it's too loud. Let us go to the dance party, baby cakes. Nah, I don't feel like it. Are you functioning at 100% capacity? I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, but I need to talk to you about- Awesome, I'm going back to the party. Oh my god, why don't we have spacesuits? You'll get spacesuits to your fourth year in it. 
Mana puss. So are you guys space pirates or aliens or what? Oh. I am third year Cougar Chief Jake Ritchie, and this is my stalwart and faithful companion, second year Bandicoot Scout Pete Lionel. Hi! And we are... Ugh, space Patrol! Uh-huh. Okay, so you guys are here to kill Dr. Scuba though, right? Whoa, 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 Missy Ma'am, Your Highness. Space Patrol doesn't kill anyone unless it's the only thing we can think of. That's right, Pete. We're not here to kill Dr. Scuba, we're here to bring him to justice. Bring him to Justin! No. What? To Justin. To Justin Thimwackle from Miss Barrymore's elementary class? I did not go to elementary school with you. Y you met him at the wedding. You're not married? Yes. Not my wedding. Justin's wedding. Guys, shut up. Listen, I think we're on the same page. We want Dr. Scuba dead or brought to justice. You know Justin. Excellent, lady woman. Where is Dr. Scuba? Just follow the music, guys. It's party time. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> Fuck. Fantastic year of 1987, a group of intrepid explorers accidentally destroys the Earth and are doomed to endlessly wander the universe. They are crew member 680, Amelia Spaceheart, Dr. Scuba, Wally Audio, and Captain Homily. Captain Homily. They are fucked in space. Don't you forget about me. Yeah, dig it, baby. Ooh, yeah, baby. Uh. Dr. Scuba. Yes? You thought we forgot about you. Yeah, like the song. Wow, well, uh, wait a minute. Who, who are you? We are... Space Patrol! Well, uh, wait, who, who? You're under arrest, Dr. Scuba. On what charge? Well, I'm innocent. It was legal in that state. Ha! You're about as innocent as it's a, a burnt cake. As a burnt... No. What does that mean? A burnt cake's a terrible thing. When you put it in the oven... I know how it gets burnt. Hey, scumbag! Don't shoot! No, Space Heart. This is Space Patrol. They're cops or Boy Scouts or something. Space Patrol? Yes, ma'am. Third year Eagle Baron Jake Ritchie reporting to okay. your spaceship. They are here to arrest Dr. Scuba. For what? Tell them, boys. Now everyone will know. Dr. Scuba? By the power invested in me by the state of Indiana, I declare Dr. Ronaldo Scuba under arrest for heinous disregard for the Earth. Here comes Scuba. Finally, Justin will be served. For the Earth's parking regulations. What? Space Patrol protects all of space, and that includes parking spaces. And Dr. Scuba has racked up quite a hefty amount of parking tickets. You must pay this and all associated fees in a timely manner or we will hunt you down. And ticket you again. Have a nice day. Are you fucking kidding me? You guys chased us through space, you attacked us, and now you're giving him a fucking parking ticket? Oh, Space Patrol always does its duty. <laughs> duty. I'm really sorry about all this, guys. I'll get your money out to you pronto. Well, looks like our work is done. Yep. And now, it's time to party! Listen everyone, Dr. Scuba here is a murderer. When this spaceship took off, it blew up the entire Earth. Everyone you know is dead. Why, that's ridiculous. Planets just can't blow up. I, it's impossible. Uh, that's science. Let's party! Listen, Space Patrol, when is the last time you talked to your headquarters? Well, give them a call and we'll clear this whole thing up. Welcome to the Space Patrol Automated Answering Service. Para espanol, oprima uno. Pour le français, appuyez sur cinq. Ooh, do Swahili? No. Why isn't English the first option? This is really inefficient. Now's our chance. 680, you go after the tall guy with the voice affectation. Spaceheart, you shoot the dumb but lovable guy. Ooh, what can I do? Well, you just keep cleaning those records. Okay. We're experiencing higher than normal call volume due to planetary discontinuation. 
Please continue to What's hold. Happened? Quiet. All other menu and life options. Sorry, you guys. I'm, I'm on hold. Thank you. I don't see any reason to kill them. Well, we just can't let these space pirates take all of our booty. Gosh, Jenny, I couldn't get through. Ha! I told you. It's all over now, Scuba. But Jake, does this mean? Could it be? I'm afraid so, little buddy. Space patrols no more. Wait, 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 guys. There could be a lot of perfectly good scientific explanations of why you can't contact Earth. It could be solar flare activity. Or uh, they could be out on a smoke break. It's a pretty good point, Dr. Scuba. No, he doesn't make a good point. Will you arrest him? We cannot proceed until we hear from our superior officer. Your superior officer is dead. Look, the destruction of the Earth is not covered in the Space Patrol guidebook. So we must defer to our commanding officer, dead or not. That's crazy. A space patrol. I think we can all learn a little something from these two fine space scouts. Listen, you are never, ever gonna hear from your commanding officer. Oh, ah! That's him. This is the space patrol commander. That's, That's impossible. impossible. Earth, Earth was destroyed. destroyed. I'm not on Earth. I am in space. And in space, there is no place to hide. <laughs> Doctor Scuba. I bet you never thought that you would be seeing me again. I'm sorry. Have we met? I am the Space Patrol Commander. You drugged my pina colata and then you sent me into space. Just before you blow up the Earth. Yeah. No, no, that, that doesn't sound like the Dr. Scuba that I know. Mm -hmm. So, Earth is gone? Yes. I saw it with my own eye. And then the other one. Butthole! That is funny. That it looks like the Earth is on fire. <laughs> but I am not not on Earth. <laughs> I am not on Earth. Scuba! Hmm. How we miss that? What are you doing? We're supposed to be patrolling space. Oh, there are so many fun games here. Uh, Let's play one. Let's not. <laughs> Yahtzee? Scrabble? Uh, Sorry? Come on. Hello. Yes, I get to be Mrs. Peacock. I want to be Mrs. Peacock. Oh, you always get to be Mrs. Peacock, and it's not fair. It is fair because I outrank you. Wasn't there an Earth there? No, yes. It's In fact, it's still there. You just can't see it because the light is diffracting off of the uh, gravi gravity vector. You just don't have any idea how space works, do you? Man, so much to learn. Yes, set up the board, because I outrank you. Aw. I want a real mystery this time, all right? So at least three murderers. Setting up the board's a mystery. Huh, hmm. Oh, I guess that's how. I'll do it. Yep. Oh my god. We're the last ones. There's no one else. We're all alone! Well, I was right. She knew all along. Dr. Scuba is a murderer. What are we gonna do? Kill him. No, Miss Audio. Killing is not the answer. Yes, uh, thank God we're not animals. Killing would be too easy. Dr. Scuba deserves to suffer. Ben, take him away. Say, wait a minute, this is my ship. You guys need me. Uh, say, Wally, I know we've had our differences in the past, but... Uh, what? But what, Earth murderer? Uh, I don't know how I was going to finish that one, but... <laughs> Lieutenant, this is mutiny. Dereliction of duties. Captain Homily, are you just going to stand by and let this happen on your watch? Crew member, sweet crew member. <laughs> I'll miss you the most. Farewell. Ah! <laughs> the Earth may be gone.
but its spirit lives on within us. All of us here, everyone you can see, we are all that is left of humanity. No, that's not true. There is another. Who else can there be left in it? A miracle has happened. I'm pregnant. Babies come from jars. So who's the father? Spaceship, duh. How's that even possible? That's really fucked up. And it is more important than ever that we safeguard what is left of humanity. Because we are in space. And I think we can all agree that space is fucking the worst. Hooray! Yeah. God, I'm, so, I'm sorry, did he say worst? I, thought, I wasn't paying attention. I thought he said us. Awesome. Fuck me. Hey, Wally! I mean, Madam President, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! You gotta wake up! Wake up. Madam President! Uh, what? We need you to sign this. You need me to authorize another emergency space drill? Can I just sign one of them and it'll authorize everything? It's not a space drill, it's a execution order. We're executing people? Well, a robot. 680? You know that's not a robot. That is a guy in a shitty robot costume. He is guilty of inciting unrest, numerous acts of insubordination, and the distribution of treasonous propaganda materials. You mean this? The drawing with the balls? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Down with Space Patrol. Down with the Commander. The Commander sucks balls. Silence! Break off! I'm not signing your little papers, so you might as well just let him go. With all due respect, Madame, this is a criminal, and the Space Patrol handbook says- well, I don't care what your stupid book says. I'm the president of this stupid ship, and I am not signing your stupid order. Oh, snap! I got it. Wally Audio. I hope you are not about to disregard an official Space Patrol document. It doesn't make any sense. You're gonna have 680 killed because of a stupid flyer? That flyer is filled with malicious lies and I do not... Society does not function in a vacuum, Miss Audio. It must be filled with law, order, and leadership. Without these essential principles, it is a meaningless void. Your robot friend has chosen the void. Sign the order and give him what he wants to be cast into the void of space. Or is that what you want too? To be cast into the cold vacuum of space? No. Then I suggest you sign the fucking order. Don't do it. I have no choice. No, Miss Audio. You do have a choice. You have chosen law and order and to be a leader. The traitor 680 will be ejected from the ship in 100 orbits of the dead guy. Take him away. You won't get away with this. Down with Space Patrol. The commander sucks balls. I do not suck on balls! And I am prepared to throw each and every one of you into space if I have to. Do not forget that. Only one life matters now. The future of humanity. How are you feeling? Are you done being pregnant yet? I feel like a, a walrus. A space walrus, you know? One of the big ones. Do not say such things. Your body mass is only 6.25% the mass of a walrus. Aww, that's sweet spaceship. How is the future of humanity coming along? Can you please stop saying that? He or she is just a normal baby. I don't want to put too much pressure on his or her shoulders. Besides, it's creepy. You have to understand, Space Heart. That is more than just an average baby you're carrying in your belly. It will be the first citizen born in space without a home, 
without a planet, without Matchbox 20. Your child will be the first member of a race of space-fearing humans with only the absolute law of the Space Patrol to protect them. And I will bring that child into this world. Millions and millions of generations of space-fearing humans cowering before the black void of space forever. Let me know if I can get you anything. That human's brain appears to be malfunctioning. Perhaps he sucks balls. There's definitely something wrong with him. Are you okay? Do you need to complain some more? I think the baby's coming. Okay, let's do this. To help me save 680. Oh, well, let's do that then. Shut up. Come help me. Okay. Sorry, but I gotta shut up. Shut up. You can't imprison me. I'm already a prisoner in this robot body. Ass wife. Just calm down there, big guy. Calm down. It's all gonna be over soon. You're not you. You stay here, watch him. While I go get that gaping hole all gaped up and ready to go. Sure, great. Everything all right, soldier? Uh, yeah, I can't wait to kill this guy. That's the spirit. Oh, he looks sad. I kind of want to be his friend. Shh, stick to the mission. You're right, I'm sorry. How do we get past my new friend? Leave it to me. You can do it. Breathe, breathe, just like me. I know how to goddamn breathe, spaceship. I do it all the time. You are hysterical and require assistance. I will notify the commander. No! I don't want that psychopath anywhere near my baby. Dickens? Space Yeti? Huh? God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. We're totally gonna be friends. 680, we're here to rescue you. Hey, come on, we gotta go before that guy wakes up. Not so fast, Miss Audio. You're not going anywhere. <sighs> Shit. Can I go? Well, well, well. How do you like your new presidential quarters? Listen, you let us out of here by order of the president of the spaceship. <laughs> I am the commander of this spaceship. I always have been. Come on, we both know you have never had any real power. Now you are a common space criminal, just like your robot friend. You shall suffer the same fate. Well why don't you go suck on some more balls? That is an unsubstantiated rumor, and I do not dignify that with a response. 
Have fun in your endless vacuum of space. Good day. I'm sorry. I doomed us all. Aw, don't say that, Wally. Shut up, crew member. I did. I fucked up and now we're all dead. Never say never. I didn't. You just did twice. Whatever. It doesn't matter what you said. It's what we're gonna do. Dr. Scuba! It's scuba time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you seem agitated. How about a soothing game of Pictionary? Damn it, Spaceship, I'm having a baby! <sighs> I never thought I'd say this, but I wish Dr. Scuba was here. Do not worry. I will help you deliver the baby. Oh, that's sweet, Spaceship, but I don't think you're equipped to him. <laughs> Which hole does the baby come out of? <laughs> There it is again. What is that? That's just the spaceship, Pete. You are way too easily distracted. You say so. I cannot believe she managed to knock you out with her guitar while you were wearing your helmet. Not even an electric guitar. Yeah, but it was signed by Cat Power. Quite the singer-songwriter. Indeed. Nonetheless, you will now have to try extra hard to prove you are worthy of the Space Patrol colors. Oh, well I always separate my colors. Never mix the white and the colors because they bleed onto each other. The other thing I do is I look at the back of the tag and read what it says to do the washing instructions. No, 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 no. I'm gonna stop you right there, okay? Because you're an idiot. What I meant is you need to get in there and execute those prisoners. Me? But I've never executed anyone before. Oh, don't worry, little buddy. It's super easy. Just toss them out the gaping hole, space does the rest. Oh, yeah, but what if they resist? You know, I mean, I know I look really strong and everything, but in truth be told, I don't have that much hand-to-hand -hand combat experience. Yes, I did earn my yellow mellow belt from a junior bandicoot summer seminar self-defense class, and they also sent me home with the VHS tapes. If they resist, you have my permission to shoot them in their ugly, traitorous faces. I believe in you. Almost. What are we gonna do? Don't worry, Candy Crush. Dr. Scuba has got a plan. Really? You bet your hot pants I do. I've spent the last nine months orchestrating an intricate escape plan using nothing more than this jeweler's screwdriver that I carefully hid way up my- No, mm -mm, I don't wanna know. Well, sleeve. What? Anyway, armed with nothing but a small tool and an indomitable spirit, I have been able to penetrate the walls of this prison and figure out how to get us the fuck out of here. Utilizing nothing more than this rope made out of my very own human hairs, Ew. we will climb the walls up, up, up to freedom! Where's the hole? The hole is right here. In nine to 20 months, why, we'll be home free, baby. They're gonna execute us now. Okay, then plan B. When they come for us, we'll rush them. Rush them? What does that mean? Well, you know, rush them. Give them the old uh, college try. I don't know what that means. Well, uh, didn't you uh, go to college? Community. Well, I took her for a college man. One s semester. I went to Space Patrol Academy. Well, Technically, I'm going to Space Patrol Academy, and only in my second year. Then you get a major in spaceology. It's actually a really competitive field. Rush them! Or not. By the power invested in me by Space Patrol in the great state of Indiana, I, Peter Lionel, am here to execute you. God damn it. Sorry. This would be a lot easier if you just uncrossed your legs. You know what? Thanks for your help, but I, I think I got this. Are you sure? I just have to show this baby who's boss. I'm the boss. Wow, that baby must be fucking huge. It's not the baby spaceship. Something's coming. No, it can't be. Oh. 
How's it going? Who the hell are you? Okay. Stop there. Now, don't make me do anything that I don't want to do, because I won't do it. Maybe. Well done, soldier. I think you have finally earned your bandicoot stripes. Thank you, sir. Now, my friends, any last words? Go to hell, you piece of shit. I hope you poop your shorts during a pommel horse routine. Well, it's too bad you won't be alive to see that. Let us get on with it! Now begins the dawn of my new society. Cool. Yes. Cool. Disappoint me, Captain. I expected more from a ranking officer. The Harrow's coming apart! We gotta close the hatch! We can't close the hatch with Space Patrol Commander inside? He'll kill us all! It's okay, I think this hair rope will hold on a little bit longer. Captain, try kicking your foot or something. No. No what? It's okay, Wally, just let go. But Captain, you just saved us. I just can't... Well, you must. There's no time. If you don't let me go, you'll all be killed. But Captain... I love you all so much. You're the only family I've ever known. Oh. Okay. No! Captain Homily! That was very lucky. It was incredible. Your plan worked, Dr. Scuba. Hardly anyone died. I can't believe the captain's gone. He sacrificed himself for us. He's a hero. Why? Why? Oh, why? God, didn't I get the two-year extended captain warranty when I purchased him? Don't be so sad. We're still alive. Hi, I'm Dr. Steven Sasquatch. At your service, young lady. So you're not a space yeti? You're a doctor? Are you drunk? You're drunk. I'm kidding. I'm a little drunk. God, your breath smells terrible. 
Why are you wearing that fur suit? This isn't a fur suit. It's a doctor suit. Wait, what? Doctor Skuba, you have wronged me for the last time. Prepare to be blown into tiny pieces. Oh, don't worry. There are new weapons on Space Patrol ship. Oh my god! There are definitely weapons on Space Patrol ship! Battle stations, everyone! Hurry! You know, we were trying to shoot these guys earlier, but I did not think of pulling this trigger. What, you go to public school? Pull the trigger. What the heck? Oh, we're probably just under attack again. <laughs> what's wrong with you? I'm having a baby! Oh, oh, no problem. I got this. Okay, let's see what we have here. Looks like your cervix is dilated about 14 centimeters. Is this normal? No, it's not normal. All right, this baby's coming. You're gonna have to listen to me and push like you've never pushed before. Are you ready? Yes! Push! Ah! Battle stations! Ah! You guys, you keep saying that like it's a thing, but there are no battle stations. Can this be my battle station? The spaceship doesn't have any weapons. Yes, it does. This spaceship has the most powerful weapon ever developed by mankind. Activate the sex drive! Oh, yes, sir! Activating the sex drive! Commander, we are in direct line of fire of the sex drive exhaust ports. Do not worry, my young apprentice. There will be no sexy time tonight. Fire at will! Warning, sex drive reactor core shield has been breached. Shield strength 70% and dropping, dropping, dropping. It's not working. Damn it, what is that space heart doing? Probably slacking off somewhere. Typical. What are we gonna do? Well, crew member, we'll have to wait them out. They'll give up sooner or later. Yeah, or we could make a wish. You guys, those are both terrible plans. You know what? Fuck it, I'm just gonna start pressing buttons. Yes, good initiative, Wally. Crew member, you help her out. Push as many buttons as possible. Push, 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 push. 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 Aren't I supposed to be the one who's pushing? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. Sorry, sorry. Pull, pull. firing at us. And we're moving faster a little bit. What did you do? I pushed this button and then that number went up and we started moving faster, slightly. Well then press it again, like over and over. All right. I think it's working, we're getting away, slowly. What does this button even do? Who cares, just keep pressing it. Okay, the wishing is working. Are they bombarding us with dead bodies? Living bodies, my mistake. What kind of monsters are these people? Go, 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 go! Oh, now I remember. That's the random passenger eject button. I knew.
knew that would come in handy somehow. What? This button ejects people from the ship? Oh yes, definitely. Well, how many people are left? Well, let's hope there's a lot. Why would you even have that installed? It's an instant death button. Oh geez. Say, so why did you stop? I kind of feel like sending hundreds of innocent people to their death just so we can go a little faster is a bad thing to do. Oh, don't worry about it. They're probably all gonna die anyway. Yeah, I don't know. There we go. Finally got through all the dead body parts that were clogging up the guns. Well, what are you waiting for? Destroy them. Yes, my liege. Ouch. That last one went straight up my exhaust hole. <laughs> Reactor core shield strength critically low. My sensitive parts are exposed. Oh, fuck. <laughs> push, damn you, push! <laughs> my life is flashing before my scanners. 40% of my life has flashed. 90% flashing complete. <laughs> One more big push! <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's coming! Push! Congratulations, lady. It's, uh... It's, uh... What the heck is it? Sex drive reactor core has been ruptured. Explosive chain reaction imminent. Uh oh. We are victorious. Nothing stands in our way now. Finish them. It's a rocket baby. Go, rocket baby, go! My God, the prophecy, it has come true. Wait, what? There's a prophecy now? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Why, that's the future of humanity. It's Rocket Baby. Ew. Oh, to be free as the Rocket Baby, to break away from the shackles of this robot body, born anew unto the universe. I couldn't be happier in this moment. My happiness level is five. Where is he going? To the only place he can go. The only place he has ever known. Space. Space is our future. Our fate. Our dreams. Our destiny. And that is why we must continually explore space. Because space is all that is left. And space is fucking awesome! Yay! Yay! <laughs> hey guys, a little help? Yeah. Oh, fucking awesome! Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah.
That looks fun. In the days of our youth, life 